Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting and fun-filled episode of Andrew Rants, the video series where I, Andrew Rhodes, stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch and complain about everything around me that annoys the crap out of me. And boy is today good. Now as many of you know, my channel is small. I mean, compared to the rest of YouTube, I am a minuscule flea on the back of a hairy mouse on top of a giant bull on top of an elephant. Yes, I am microscopic in the world of YouTube. Now, at some point, I would like to make my presence known and have more followers and more viewers. I'd like to make better videos. I'd like to do a lot of things that other high-tier echelon YouTubers do. Do I wish that some of them would share their secrets of the trade? You bet your ass I do! Some are nice enough and do share some of their secrets of the trade. However, other ones take it to their damn graves. More to the point, if you try looking up on YouTube, hey, how do I make my channel better? You get swamped with wannabe people that think they know how to grow a channel, and it's the same thing that six other people say in six other different videos that still makes no sense to you! Oh, well, it all depends upon what you want to do. Well, I still don't know exactly what my channel does, per se. I mean, I review some stuff, I rant about stuff, I discuss things... I have a podcast I post up on here. Yeah, I got a wide variety of things. So what exactly am I? Confusing? Well, besides that. No, apparently having a theme for your channel, no duh, that's a brainless effort right there. But I'm talking about, like, how do you film stuff better? You know, what's a good way of rendering up your footage? And stuff like that. Half a dozen YouTubers have their own style to do it, and that's fine. To each their own, and everyone has to have their own particular style. But how about a crash course for us that just barely have a concept of it? Now, I have a basic grasp of the video editing programs that I use, but they're limited by what they have to offer, and I'd like to get a bit more advanced than I am now for basically no money because I have nothing to put into this. So how do you grow a channel for free? How the hell should I know? I wish I knew. Oh, apparently video gaming's huge on YouTube. Yeah, it's also huge on Twitch, but apparently they only keep your videos for like 7 to 10 days and then it's bye-bye. Yeah, so that's great. I, on the other hand, like the concept that people can come back to my videos months and or years later and still watch it and give comments. I love that. Seriously, that's how you find somebody. Me, I personally like doing it just all around good natured. But in all honesty, I'd like to know some of the tricks in the trades. YouTube's more than willing to help out the higher echelon people. You know, the ones that, oh, here, let me help you. You have over 10,000 subscribers. You're one of the promised ones. The legends of old spoke of your greatness. Please come, come into the threshold of the gods and let us help you grow yourself to be longer. Don't look at the peasants. They have barely a hundred subscribers. They have less than you. You're now, you're beneath them. Come, come into the, us, the upper echelon. That's what it feels like. And I know that there are YouTubers out there that try to help, but I've watched half a dozen of those videos. Hell, I've actually searched how to make my YouTube channel better and literally watched almost every single video in the search results. I'm not even joking. And I got the same answers over and over and over again, all of which confuse me. Oh, well, you got to get this type of a camera. Oh, well, you got to do this. But doing this contradicts what this person told me to do. But this person has more viewers and subscribers than this person. So which is the right way? I don't know. Which is a better way to do it? I don't know. What the f do I know? Obviously nothing. I haven't got a damn clue what the f is going on here. But it gets worse than that. You try Googling this. Oh, God, does that bring up the ultimate screw you. 
You figure if YouTube and users on YouTube can't tell me how to make my channel better, Google, who owns YouTube, sure as hell ain't gonna help with their search engine. It links you back to most of those videos or takes you to websites that still offer the same useless information. Now, to their credit, YouTube does try their damnedest to help everybody. I say this with a grain of salt, don't hammer me for it, but still, they try to help everybody they can. Though, let's face it, at the end of the day, YouTube is a business, and it is going to cater more to the upper echelon than to us lowly peasants. I, sadly, am a lowly peasant. Think of me as the poor shoemaker, if you will, in the village, or the kingdom, ruled by Lord YouTube, master of the land, and I am just a mere peasant. I'd like to know ways to make my channel better. Is there a unique functionality is there a neat little program to make like a little animated me or something unique ways and things to change up your channel finding something that works i know it's a majority of trial and error hell i've done that myself half a dozen times i did unwrapping videos they sucked i do review videos man i tried theories and apparently if you try something that a youtuber has an entire channel based on you're breaking youtube's taboo law which I don't f***ing care! Because it's basically an unspoken one amongst all YouTubers that if one person does it, you can't do it. Well, if that's the case, there wouldn't be a thousand fucking Let's Plays all over YouTube because one user's already done it, so the other 999 of them wouldn't be doing it. There obviously can't just be one reviewer on YouTube because there's half a dozen review videos! And there sure as hell isn't a whole bunch of other people complaining and bitching about stuff just because one person does it, so that can kiss off too. But at the end of the day, I just want to know. I know asking people is the best way of gaining knowledge, and finding out more knowledge is a way to help you, but in this case, I kind of feel like if this was a video game, I'm stuck in the freaking maze from hell, the guide is burned to pieces, my map is useless, and I have that stupid freaking fairy from The Legend of Zelda up my fucking ass, going, hey, 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 every five seconds when I'm trying to think of an idea to make YouTube better. <sighs> it wouldn't hurt so much if they would have, like, a dedicated, hey, here's an idea. You can, you know, use this to help make your videos better. Granted, they have some stuff to help you. It's not a bandage, but think of it this way. For new people, think of this like a video game, YouTube. It's a tutorial level. Guide their ass through it. Hold their hand. Drag them through. Make sure they got it down to the wire. Then, push them off the cliff. That's when you feed them to the wolves. Once they got them, the, basic, the basics down, then you push them off the cliff. It's like the birds teaching themselves how to fly. Eventually, they're either going to fly or they're going to fall. And that's what you got to take the chance of, YouTube. At least help out the beginners. Help out those that have under like a thousand subscribers. Oh, here, let's promote your video a little bit with some... You know, nondescript, you know, algorithms to help bolster your videos. Not everybody knows how the tag system works or can make decent tags. Uploading videos is a fucking nightmare because you keep saying every time I want to upload a video, it's your video is not encoded in the correct format. Please try encoding something to make it stream faster. Then I click that and I put a video in the correct streaming file format and you still tell me it's going to take six and a half hours to upload a four megabyte video, you sons of bitches. <sighs> All this while there are YouTubers racking in money. Oh, well, that's fine. Let them have monetization. They have to earn that. You need 4,000... Watch hours and 10,000 subscribers before you can even think about begging YouTube to let them pay your ass to have ads ad. Well, that's great. I sure as hell never hit that. The day I hit 10,000 subscribers, whoo! Man, I'll go gay for five seconds when that happens. Damn! I'll be like Gabriel Iglesias when the plane drops from 6,000 feet to 200 feet. Woo! Man, that was not good. No, that'll be me for five seconds ago. Well, that's it. <laughs> Whew. I hit 10,000 subscribers. Yeah! Yeah!
Okay, well, that fun's done. No, and I don't mean any disrespect or anything. I mean, far from it, but for God's sake, this is what it seems like. Once you finally hit these thresholds, it's a miracle! Oh, you hit a thousand subscribers! Here, let's party! I mean, you have these YouTubers that have been getting the play buttons. How about giving, like, some nice words of encouragement other than that stupid little you hit a hundred subscribers on YouTube, congratulations, email. Well, that was a nice little pick-me-up. I hit a hundred subscribers? Really? Holy crap! Aw, oh, damn, yeah! All right, that fades real quick, YouTube. It's a euphoric high. It's gonna fade real fast. That's like me hitting a hundred dollar win on a lottery ticket. Wow, I'm up a hundred bucks, yeah! And then the euphoricness dies off real quick. Ha! <sighs> well, that was fun. No, that's what happens here, YouTube. At least try helping people out somewhere along the line. I know you have the audio library, but why don't you give like a small tutorial? Here's how to fix up some videos that you can upload quickly onto YouTube regardless of your internet server speed. Oh, you want to upload a you know massive file, but your internet connection speed is piss poor? Here's some tips and tricks from us pros at YouTube on how you can do that and free programs we designed to make it easier for you. The whole basis of your site is to get more people to glue their eyes to their screen. And yet, here we go again, the upper echelon and us poor peasants at the bottom. I would like to one- I feel like Aladdin almost. One day I will be up there, Abu. One day we will be in that palace. I will have Jasmine by my side, the Sultan will be my bitch, and I will have a blue genie at my side as well. You'll be there too, and so will my magic flying carpet, and we will rule the land of Agrabah. And don't give that idea to Disney. They're liable to try to do another remake of Aladdin now with that. Or God forbid they do a sequel to the remake of Aladdin where Aladdin finally goes off the deep end and just enslaves all of Agrabah. Yeah, we don't need to picture that in a Disney movie. No, 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 no. No, 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 it's Disney. They're too family-friendly and happy for that shit. But seriously, though, YouTube... I mean, you're constantly changing and evolving. Copyright stuff is your big issue. I get it. You want to make sure everyone's protected, their rights are protected, and stuff like that. Believe me, I am all for that. Power to the people. I swear by it. But at some point, you have to help everybody, or at least try to help everybody. Put a program in place to explain to them, this is how you do this. And if you say, oh, well, there is one. If it's buried under the 16,000-some videos that are on your site from wannabe people that think they know what to do, it's buried and no one's going to find it. Because everyone's going to go to the clickbait ones and everything else. You claim you understand how the video systems work and you understand how your own algorithms work, but obviously you don't. If some video gets 15,000 views and your official video gets like five or 500 views, there's an issue. I, for one, would like to know, and if there is something out there, then I apologize for this rant, but in all honesty, I'd like to make my channel better, and it'd be nice to get some help, or at least some guidance, from the site that I'm putting my stuff on! But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it would be a good idea for YouTube to have some type of a tutorial program in place for a majority of their creators, both starting out and that have under a thousand subs? Or do you think YouTube is fine right now just the way it is? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Rance.